At a time when radio would not play the word damn and they wouldn't play a word, they wouldn't have a song with whiskey in it or any of that, they went through this weird phase. We're writing songs like Whiskey Lullaby, which are totally defying what you're supposed to be doing by trying to get songs recorded. You're writing in a publishing company to get songs recorded, you know, and Bill was never afraid of that. She put in like the burning end of a midnight cigarette She broke his heart He spent his whole life trying to forget we Watch him drink his pain away a little at a time Well, I just remember I, I, did, I did have that idea, uh, actually, a, a, my manager at the time had made the comment that I put a bottle to my head and pulled the trigger last night because we'd stayed up way too late. I held on to that idea and I scribbled some little ideas around it and, uh, and I kept that idea for a while. I had a little bit of the melody um, and so and kind of had, had that hook in there and, uh, and then uh, when Bill and I got together I really did say, I was like, I'm going to lay this on Bill and, and he doesn't want to write it then probably will never get written um, as a co-write kind of thing and I don't know that I would have finished it because I was still kind of struggling with where it needed to go and um, so he came in the door that day and he had the title Bill always has a title I've never walked in the door with Bill Anderson and he didn't have maybe five or six titles to choose from uh, and he had walked in the door um, with the line um, Midnight Cigarette and that's where we came up with that opening line. You know, she, she put him out like the burning end of a midnight cigarette. That was a that was Bill's line when he walked in. So when I but when he came in, I played him this little piece, and and he loved it. And I was so proud of myself. <laughs> and uh, and then we we stitched it together and figured out what that meant, and got to, came up with the whiskey lullaby part of it, and and decided, you know, do we let her die in the second verse or not? You know, we kind of debated that thing. And, and uh, but in, uh, in good old bluegrass and in old country tradition, we went ahead and told the rest of the story, so. She blamed herself for years and years. She tried to hide the whiskey on her got together right with Brad Paisley one time. The thing that, that writers will tell you about Bill is he still shows up with a notepad and a, very, and a group of sharpened pencils and a Panasonic cassette player, which you gotta love because that's been working for how many years now, 50 years? It's been working. So Brad and I had our computers and we're, we're talking, we're, you know, we're getting ready to put the board tape down and we've got our garage band up to put the work tapes down and and Bill and, and Bill's over there he's on the couch and he's he's got his cassette he's got his, his notepad and his pencil and he says to Brad he says now what was what was the second line what did we decide on the second line of that bridge and, and Brad spouts it out for him and he's like oh, and, and Brad looks up and sees him writing over there and he goes wow Pen and pad, dang Methuselah, when did you when did you stop using a chiseling stone? <laughs> and Bill, without blinking, held that up and he goes, these have never crashed. <laughs> it was perfect. Thank you guys. Love you, Bill. Congrats, buddy.